Oh, Margaret in Queensland, Australia, how are you? And welcome back to my roses. This is a David Austin rose and it's called Windermere. It's an old English rose, David Austin, prolific rose breeder um, who passed away a couple of years back, well in his 90s, spent his life breeding roses. This is an old English rose. It combines the form and fragrance of old roses with the repeat flowering nature of our modern roses. So he actually bred them uh, to create that kind of rose. Needs a light, airy position, as you can see here. It's in the light. It's getting plenty of sunshine, six to eight hours a day. There's actually two of them here together and they are standard. So they're up on 90 centimeter stems. This is their first flush for the year. Just look at these colors. It's a beautiful cream with a very slight pink tinge in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, remember that your roses need six to eight hours of um, sun a day. They need watering every week. I need to fertilize mine once a month here. They are big feeders in the subtropics. And we get black spot, unfortunately. So I also need to spray them. But look at the new growth on here. There's actually about 30 buds on this particular rose bush they are slightly different when they open up look at this one isn't that absolutely beautiful it's a small to medium bush if it was in the ground like i say this is on a 90 centimeter standard above the ground easy for me to lean in it's got a delicious fruity fragrance with a just a hint of citrus rich cream colored blooms that fade to white over time the flowers open up they allow the bees to get in there what an absolutely sensational rose this is plenty of room for the bees to get in there how beautiful enjoy your roses today this is a windermere i'll be enjoying it too